You know, you want to be fast like Isaiah. You want to shoot like Bird. Rebound like Barkley. Pass like Magic. Dominant like Shaq. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to be like Mike. What is up? All right. Day number leg day. Oh, you flipped me off. <laughs> I'm in the right. What is going on YouTube? Today we're going to be doing Sam Sulik's full day of eating. We are on the way to Walmart now to go get the food that he eats. He's got a very interesting diet and I'm kind of excited to eat like my favorite bodybuilder Sam. So I'll see you guys at Walmart. When you're a bodybuilder and you're eating 80 grams of protein, you know, eight times a day, you are out of your mind when it comes to food. Like, you know, and it's like you become food obsessed because you're too lazy to cook food or maybe you're too busy. Too busy is not an excuse. Busy, what do you mean busy? You're too busy to build the best possible body you possibly could have. You're too busy to fulfill your dreams. All right, meal number one. Sam uh, doesn't have the typical chicken and rice diet. Sam starts his day off with some choco milk. Oh, can I, I respect that, so cheers. <sighs> Dude, Sam, Sam knows what's up, man. Choco milk is gas. 750 milliliters, it's down, cheers. Meal one is down, I'll see you guys at meal number two. Meal number two, we got 169 grams of cinnamon toast crunch. We got four cups of milk. This is, this is gas, this is unreal. So Sam likes to get 400 grams of carbs before his lifts because that actually helps the pump and you know, it's gonna make him feel a lot better in the gym, give him that energy for the gym. So we'll eat this and then we'll go hit a back workout. Yeah, perfect. Sit here for like 20 minutes, scroll on TikTok and this will just disappear. So if you... <laughs> I feel like I'm about to shit my fucking pants. Oh my gosh. In what world would you want to not try to go as crazy as possible on every fucking set. But if you don't push yourself, right, how do you know where that line is? Right? I'd rather go too far than not far enough. All right, so first exercise, we're gonna be doing some horizontal neutral grip pulling till failure. Let's go. Two sets to failure on this. Two sets to failure on lat pull down. Two sets to failure on wide grip pull ups. That's about it. And then do some triceps. So, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> If I get to rep 12, and it's I like, think to myself, okay, once I get to 20, that'll be good. And I know that I can actually hit 20. Like, sure, it'll still be a good set, but you know, what if I had 22? What if I had 23, 24 in the tank, right? Really, you should just be thinking, okay, more, 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 more. Pretty good pump. The milk, I can kind of start feeling it. In the anus. <laughs> Might do tw <laughs> 12 reps of wiping on the toilet later. <laughs> but uh, shit to failure too after that, all that milk. <laughs> Set of that. And my back's gonna be fucking pumped. Uh, I can't wait to see this fucking flex after. Yeah, buddy! Fucking feel fucking like a ninja turtle. <laughs> Drink. 
You're sub 200 pounds. You're a victim weight. Well, you want to not try to go as crazy as possible on every fucking set. You need to push yourself. How do you know where that line is? I'd rather go too far than not far enough. <laughs> it almost fucking hit me in the face. But yeah. Let's go check this pump somewhere. Fuck. I was fucking feeling good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch running through my veins right now. I would say Sam Sulak's diet. If you do it, you'll get a dirty ass pump. Father, forgive me for all my sins. And I keep your eyes the devil he wins. Blinded by your eyes, where I may pretend. All right, guys. We just finished back. Got my uh, dextrose here. I got my protein powder here. So what Sam likes to do after the gym is have some dextrose. Holy shit. Why didn't you fucking remind me about my dextrose shake? Oh my God. If you don't know what dextrose is, it's pretty much just a simple carb. Um, got the shit behind the counter at Walmart. Never had dextrose before, so. I'll let you guys know. Oh fuck, it's like pill form. So he like takes two servings of dextrose, so. Fuck man, it literally tastes like, it tastes like those, you know rockets? It's like a rocket, but like chocolatey. So I have two of those. It's equivalent to two servings of dextrose. And I'll we'll have two scoops. Some basic guys, protein powder. Cheers. Ah oh, damn. I'll see you guys at the next meal, baby. Hard fucking work, cooking and eating six to ten times a day. It's hard work. There is no easy way. Uh oh, busted. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wait, you want two patties? I guess. I don't even know. One bite. Keep it, keep it healthy. Oh my fuck. That's good. Yeah. Oh, this makes me want to shizzy and jizzy just everywhere, bro. Mm. I'd say top five best burgers in Canada. Easily. There's no secrets, it's hard fucking work, cooking and eating six to ten times a day. It's hard work, there is no easy way. There's no easy way! If you want to get big, you got to eat harder than last time. So yeah, pretty much... Sam... Sam's diet, I feel like, isn't that calculated. Um, to be honest, now that I'm at meal three, I realize this guy doesn't give a fuck about his diet. But hey... He's he's fucking Jack, so we're gonna do we're gonna eat what he eats because obviously it's fucking working. How's it coming along? Oh wait, it's gone. <laughs> you already ate it all. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this shit's good. <laughs> all right. I'm here with my fucking little bro, Andrew Eubank. I'm here for the donuts. Okay.
So for the last meal, Sam has donuts. He has some Krispy Kremes, but in Canada, we don't really have Krispy Kreme. So we're just going with Boston Cream, baby, today. So I'm gonna have three, my bro's gonna have three. And then he also has four cups of milk. So let me go get the milk. I'll be back in two seconds. Two. Oh! <laughs> The guy who likes walking is going to walk further than the guy who likes the destination. You understand? And that's, um, it's easy to say. You know, it's easy to say this motivational shit or whatever. It's harder to put it into practice. But, you know, if you go to the gym on a consistent basis for long enough, it's just going to become normal life. It's not even going to be a challenge for you to go in. And uh, you should start to see some results coming in.